Hi again, this is Jeff from Tau Flater Mouse. The Mercury vs. Salt video just recently hit 1 million views. Although that's a really nice milestone, what I'm really proud of is the level of discussion that this video created. Say yes. Many of the comments were just very well thought out and intelligent. And then you get a lot of kind of wacky comments and stuff. And of course, since this is YouTube, when intelligence breaks down, you resort to name calling. You know, a lot of people thought it was the shape of the cup, like I was using uh, maybe a magician's glass. But really, the majority of viewers had a lot of good input and remained quite civil. Now in this video, we're going to use crushed ice and see what kind of effect mercury has on that. Now why crushed ice? Because it's kind of a scaled up version of the salt crystals. And what we're seeing here is what I expected to see with the salt when I initially filmed it. But our results are completely different this time. Since a lot of people will say, hey, you have the wrong glass, you know, you did it wrong. We'll try a different glass. This is a little wider and we'll even tamp the ice down to give it a little more chance. Pretty much the same results. So why, in this case, did the ice float, and in the case of the salt, did it remain submerged underneath the mercury? Is it the difference in density? Is it because the mercury was melting the ice? Or surface tension? Or because I'm a stupid American idiot? Uh, anyway, I'd like to hear your comments. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I wish the results were different, but that's what happened. Hey, if you like videos about the element mercury, then please check out my playlist. I have dozens of videos on this subject. Many of these ideas come from viewers like you. I read the comments. I like to reply to comments. And many of the best ideas come from you guys. And remember that mercury is a hazardous material. We use every precaution to minimize our exposure to it and to have zero spillage.